Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. Today's beverage is a very nice freshly squeezed orange juice with lots of ice because it's currently the hottest day of the year here. Either way, welcome back to the game in the previous episode. We were progressing on nicely and we got in the protective custody area. Well, protective custody slash ex-gang member, aka Tom Coombs' place. <laughs> That's where he is there. And obviously, oh, we've also got uh, some sort of grant done maybe something. Uh, obviously, I'm running out of money. I am, but I've also got positive daily cash flow, so I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, progressing on quite nicely getting in a lot of these door control systems and it uh, looks to be uh, Barsby is wandering in here because this is currently not set to staff only because I don't have the capability to do that yet until that door is placed so once we've done that I now place that to staff only and those guys can well it says they're changing clothes but I'm pretty confident they are walking around the yard I don't know why they're coming in here I guess because oh they would have been able to get to a certain point where Contraband can be lobbed in, but yeah. Anyway, progressing on nicely, let's go ahead and continue on. First things first, over to our deployment and assign guards. And I'm going to assign two guards here, and that's because someone suggested if signing people in this one, as soon as someone here has moved off, the person assigned should go there. Not too sure if that's a thing, but I'm certainly going to try it. Looks like we have a faith program being run. Uh, Dan Stacy here is undertaking that. And also, the, lots of sick on the ground for some reason. And Dan Stacy there, and let's have a quick look at their character. Gang member, cunningly brutal, and undercover Don. Yeah, they failed the faith program, so hopefully they'll pass it next time. 97% chance of reoffending. Yeah, that's uh, far from ideal. Anyway, we also have Fight Club, which you can see the fight ring is um, it's up to 82% damage, so far from ideal. We also have Tim here as well, who we can not recruit. They've had a recent misconduct of murder. Hmm. Anyway, over to the centre, we can see that we've got these remote doors placed in. I'm just going to put it to max speed here while we crack on and uh, see if we can get all of the doors in. Now, a lot of these doors, we may have some problems because, well, they're going to lock themselves in just like that. So I'm going to have to uh, open the doors. So we'll just uh, lock open all of these. We're going to lock open because we might as well so they can at least... Uh, progress on through this thing and then obviously I'm going to go and put in some door servos and then connect stuff up so over to utilities door servos and then we want one how have we placed it down yet two three four five six seven plus over here eventually yeah there's two more going in but I don't actually have the cash to sort that out but we'll just lock it open at least these are now sectioned off oh there's also more going in at the top there <laughs> yeah i forgot just how many we're placing as well so just lock all that open that one doesn't need to be locked open because there's currently some rubble chocking it and yeah, is that an escape attempt that is an escape attempt so i'm guessing because ah because the doors are locked open they are attempting to escape i mean they will successfully do that too um, I'll just close the door now and they can't do anything about it. Nope, they're definitely trying to do something about it. They are smashing through the door. Let me just go for a... Hang on. Uh, guard response. One, two. And, yeah, they're trying to punch through a remote door. It is the toughest door in the game, so good luck to them. Um, I wonder if these guys are going to get out or not. Yeah, what happened is because I opened up all the doors... That meant there was a clear path, which means anyone that really wants to do a blitz out attempt will happily go and do so. Um, electricity as well. We also need to run those. So let's just check. So electrical power, we've got this coming across. And then, well, we'll need to run it all kinds of ways. But I'm guessing that, that, insufficient funds. Um, do I take a bit more of a loan out? Let's just take a bit more of a loan out. We're still on positive cash flow, even with the loan, and it allows us to continue on with the building, which is uh, exactly what we need. So there's the door servos going in. I'll wait until those are done before we put the rest of them in. I think, are, are, are a couple of people stuck in here, or is it just... No, no, it's just it's because it's staff only. Oh, there's another blitz-out attempt that may even work. Hmm, hang on then. Uh, I'm going to have to close a couple of doors. So... It's Tom Carter here escaping. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to lock all these again. Aren't I? So go to the doors, close that. Mm, the back one. Whoa! How quick are they? They're really quick. Close that one. Close that one. 
and will it close in time? Closed in time. Guard response. Let's go. Problem is, I can't get into here. <clears throat> okay. Let's connect up the logistics first. So, connections. Um, that one, I want to get rid of the connection. Same as that one and that one. Because all of those should now be on this new system. That one, that one, that one. And then all of these. Which obviously are now connected, but not all in. Because there's no power. Looks like we've tased them. And we'll bring them back. Some of these are still locked open like that. Yes, yeah, so they can still get through. Okay. In terms of grants... Emit nutritional research on the go, 50%, serve a single low quantity, low variety meal for two days. We're on halfway there. And three high variety, high quantity meals. We've already done that one. We have also gang welfare, successfully reformed 15 gang members. We haven't done any, apparently. And also raise our prisoner capacity to 50. We're on 68% of that one and obviously trying to build them where we can. Um, that door will not open, yet they are still trying to do that so i might as well just open it like so and then they'll they'll go around um these ones i can probably close now because we should have power we do have power to them which is great so put those to normal like that and then the rest of these i guess we'll have to run power in here so power will run in similar to how we've run it in the past which means running up to there and then the rest of it should be fine as long as I run this cable down. However, I also haven't checked the power grid because it might be running a little bit hot. Uh, yeah, we do need another power system in here. All right, we're going to have to look at that uh, in a moment. First things first, though, more door control servos. One. Oh, hang on. How are we going to do that one? Mm, on the other side, is it? Okay. Two. Three. Four. And then that should be, well, not obviously not this one, but that should be the door control servos for the rest of it pretty much sorted. And everything, for the most part, <laughs> set to where it needs to be set. So staff only, things like that. Alright. At least this thing is repaired now. The Fight Club, I was on about this, um, the Fight Club, it, it, it cl it's classed as... They're not a gym, but they use it for exercise, which is why they're running around it. I know people did say maybe put in some... Yeah, they're all shouting about hygiene still. <clears throat> yeah, people say put like some weight benches in, but we don't, we don't really have the space. I mean, we could technically fit some either side there, so... Is that, is that a good thing? Dumbbell racks, maybe? Increase the gymnasium's... Grid as well as a yard. I wonder what else we could put in there. TV? No. Bird? <laughs> Pet bird? No. Water? No. Boombox. Increases the dormitory's grid and, a, and one of these grid as well. We could put a couple of boomboxes in. We haven't, we haven't placed any of those. I think we're just going to go with the old-fashioned weights. Benches. One, two, three, four. Uh, and we also, we're also going to change our regime. And it used to be all this sleep time. There's a couple of hours of uh, eat to have in here. I'm going to put sleep time. Actually, I probably don't need to add more sleep. But I'm certainly going to put a shower there. And hopefully that'll be all right. Some prisoners arriving. No, zero prisoners were arriving, so that's how it is. Looks like that is still without power, that one. I guess I have to do that. Is that one little bit classed as outside? I think it might be, which is suboptimal. These are getting placed and built. Just double check with connections. They're all in. That one, that one, that one, that one. I think that's all of them. But I accept that there will be some issues. 
but let's just double check. So utilities, connections. I'm just seeing one connection on each one. I'm not checking the destination, I'm just checking to see if it actually has a connection. Yeah, and it's just these two. And that should be it. Danger level increasing. There's a critical hygiene need and luxury needs is going to be there as well, but can never go to critical. In terms of gangs, two vipers, three bone breakers, one jackal. And looks to be some gang fighting here as well. That was coincidental. Guard response there. See what happens. Looks to be three... Ooh, is that three of the red gang members? No, it's two green, two red now, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll have none of that. There's the tasers. That guy has been fatally injured. And there's the tasers. Oh, and some up here as well. Appears that the bone breakers are uh, very keen on fighting. <laughs> that Janet is not keen on uh, dealing with it though, and <laughs> just, just legged it, just ran off. I mean, fair point, well made. Um, people keep asking about our um, lack of a morgue. No, we don't have one. Um, I built one in the past, in the last couple of series, and you used to ha have to have them, but now the hearse turns up straight away, so you don't need a morgue. So it's always just been, we've had one because we wanted one. Wanted is probably a strong, too strong a word for, for that. More like it was fitting to have a morgue rather than we actually needed a morgue. Our prisoners look a little bit untidy. Aye, they do. That's uh, the nature of the beast when they don't shower, which is why we've set a shower time. Almost finished with the... Oh, what's going on here? Tim Buckwell is destroying something. There's Don Stacy there. And why are they fighting in here? Are they just randomly destroying stuff? Yeah. I must confess, that CCTV advancement is brilliant. I really like it. It's pretty good. So we can see, here's the guards that have actually came from the security room that they were stationed at, which is good to see that actually working. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to get a serve this. I didn't mean to send a guard over there. I was just more clicking on these characters. Ah, oh, informed. So, book well. Tasered. Okay. So, the fight around here, that was the first time, really, since we've started, that I've thought a sniper tower would have been well worth it there. I'm going to... Non-lethal non sniper. New ammunition that provides snipers the ability to fully use their gun without the fear of fatalities. Unless the free fire order has been given. We're going to research it. And we're going to put a sniper tower in. Ah, it's not called a sniper tower. It's called a guard tower. We have a guard pavilion. Placing the corners of yards and open areas. And it says, increases the level of suppression in that area. Guards are sheltered from weather. Guard tower is snipers hired separately. So we do have to have a sniper. One of those in. We can put... One of these pavilions in as well. It is possible. So I might put the guard tower in. I mean, do I really want... I, I built it so we had a guard pavilion. That's the size of it. But you can't assign the snipers to it apparently. So instead I'm just going to put it in... There. And then if we do want a guard pavilion. It can go in the corner. That makes sense? Yes, but actually, I'll put it at that corner. Don't put more, actually more centralised. More centralised is about there. And while I'm on, I'll place the other one in. And that should cover all three of these. So let's see how we're getting on. Danger level increasing. In our medium. Eight prisoners have serious complaints. Two prisoners shackled in the cells are solitary. Staff morale is high. <clears throat> and it's kicking off over here again. It's supposed to be... Tim again. 
And the CCTV's offline as well now. Nope, it's back on again. Uh, gym Rat Vandal. They are a Vandal. Ah, is that what it is? They'll damage objects when some of their needs aren't being met. That's what it might be. They're damaging it because they haven't... They have needs. No, there's, there's nothing. We're checking there. I can see recent misconduct and such. Which is attacked staff. I don't actually know what's up there then. How curious. How curious. So, how is Tom doing? Tom's doing fine. No real issue there. I'm going to place a boombox in. And where do I want to place a boombox? It does it increase increase a common room's grade. Yes, it does. So we only really need the one. But we're going to go for the symmetry of this. So we'll place it there and there, and we'll also place one in in here. Oh, I realize there's no TV in here. Don't think it's a problem. They've got the computer, so we can almost certainly watch that on there as well. I wonder if the boombox actually makes some noise. <clears throat> I'd be curious to see. Nice to see as well. Boombox is in. It is increasing that. Let me just double check. Uh, logistics room quality. Rating of 6. Very nice. Canteen. Rating of 0. <laughs> low. Because of the low meal quality. Um, yeah. And variety, but that'll be done shortly. We're on 95%, so we'll put it back to normal. It does mean our daily cash flow will go down. Yeah. We could make a lot of money quickly if we had a death row. How? I don't. I disagree with that. I don't disagree with what it's saying. Yeah, you can, but I just don't like the way it's putting it over. Um. Right. Grant done. Grant is done. So. Let's go to policy, medium and medium, and then our regime, we're going to have our lockup in the middle, or work slash lockup, followed by eat times, and then eat times. Actually, I'll put it there. Hang on. There. <laughs> That should be about right. Okay, we're going to do a shakedown. All sectors. We haven't done one in quite some time, so I think it would be worthy of doing that. We have 22 regular guards. We also have armed guards and some dog handlers as well, but no snipers yet. So let's go ahead and pick up uh, one, two, three snipers, which is going to put us on negative cash flow. But we need at least one to go in the towers. There you go. We're in the towers now. And then you need a spare one as well. So... What is to build? Well, naturally, it's going to be this cell block. Let's get it done. Quick build, cloning, clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy, and then... Oh, technically, we don't need to do all of that anyway. Just do that bit. And click. And let's get that done. There's more fighting there. Once again, Tim Bookwell. Taser has been used, so we'll do a guard response. I want to get more guards in here. I don't think... This guard needs it. Ah, this guard here is called Shawshank. <laughs> and it looks like she's completed Guard Taser Certification, Disarming Certification, and has Jail Keys Baton Taser Stab Vest. Probably about time we went through and while well, we're doing this, uh, did that shake down? Did it cancel it because of that? Or did we finish it? I couldn't, I couldn't tell. I'm going to run it anyway. Um... Over to programs then. Staff programs. We don't need to run any more programs. Foundation education. Three are interested. We are running that. Two passed on 18%. Parole hearing. Got that maxed. Spiritual guidance. Three in the queue. Gang rehabilitation. Three in the queue. We could run more. Doesn't seem we're going to anyone assigned to it. Faith program. Three in the queue. The breathe therapy is running. Same as the fight club. People want to work in the kitchen. And behavioural therapy would be good. But I'm very aware we're on negative money. So. 
We probably need to do something there. Uh, well, let's lock open that jail door, shall we? <laughs> While they're working. Oh, it's still on guard response. How would you drop the tool? Because it's still doing it. How strange. Right click to stop. There we go. So at least we'll search all the places. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stop that. We've not found anything. Obviously, that search uh, finished, like I said. I didn't really notice because we were doing other things. Looks like someone was tased there. Damien Nordic. Tased for reasons. We have all of this to build. It's currently set to staff only. But we will change it. Um, yeah, we don't have any patrols in there, obviously, because that's not what we're doing with this series. It's all about remote stuff. I guess one of these would be probably beneficial to build as well. Another security room. Yeah. I'll copy the security room in there. This is the advantage of cloning it. Oh, we've got some prisoners arriving. We have a gang member. We have two gang members. That brings us to two vipers, four bone breakers, one jackal. One of them is extremely strong, a gang member, cunningly brutal, undercover Don and loyal. There's also another person there, gang member with an unknown trait. There you go. Danger level flying down. Grants wise, we... I'm not... Ah. Oh. Doesn't matter. Crack down on drugs. I was going to say, what I wanted to do was do tool clean up and crack down on drugs. But you need a certain amount of people to do it. And, well, we've got them now. So we've got over 30. So we can do, if we receive more people, we can do tool clean up. Oh, up to 40, that one, is it? Right, okay. Anyway, this is all getting built, which is good. Quick build clone. We'll do that one this time. Place that in there. We're on positive daily cash flow now, which is good. And was that fighting? I was going to say, was the fighting there, but I don't know. I'm guessing also that bureaucracy, yet yeah, non lethal ammunition has been researched. Oh, fighting here. Paul Boys and Tom Wyatt. Uh, attack prisoner and attack prisoner. Ah, they're just fighting. Bit of cheeky sparring there. So, I'm wondering where the, what the best thing is to do here. Well, that can go to shared now. That's set to max sec. But I can put it to shared, it doesn't really matter. But certainly access only. Um, I might as well keep it to max sec. Yeah, that should be fine. In terms of building over here, what do we need to do? Well, we need water to be ran in there, naturally. But power, that's still running a bit too a bit too hot. Potential issue as well. Also, I was gonna say we may need need some more fridges and cookers. But oh, a shank. Interesting. Okay. What what happened there? It's found by with Paul boys again. Paul. But, well, that was brought in. That was, yeah, smuggled in, fair enough. But the shank doesn't say where it was stolen from or found or whatever. It just doesn't give us any idea. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. We do need to build as well some more CCTV. We've currently only got four, five, six CCTV cameras. And each of the... 
CCTV monitors can control eight cameras. So if you do more, it'll cycle through it, which is what it's saying there. So if I, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So if I build the four in here, we'll have two that were, well, that we don't need. Or two that we can connect up, but it'll start cycling through these. And I don't really want it to cycle. I'd rather just go through and run 100% all the time. There are high levels of contraband in the prison, are there? Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do about that one. Got four more prisoners arriving, because obviously we're building these, which is handy. I think it would be of some benefit to put in the concrete tiles and indeed prioritise them, because this is the main thoroughfare through this. Obviously, we're going to need to... Well, we're going to have to ensure that we have it as efficient as possible, which means putting those in. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Prison Architect. We have managed to get a lot of the odds and ends sorted. All of these connections were going to be a bit faffy, shall we say. <laughs> but we've got that done. We've also got this second cell block on the go. Security rooms ordered. Danger level is lower, and also the needs for hygiene have been fulfilled more. So, for the first time in a long time, having a shower is of some benefit. Normally, you just don't need it. There's just no reason to have it. And there is some more people. We have one, two, three gang members. Ooh. So it's tipping on the side of the bone breakers. Three vipers, six bone breakers, and one jackal. Hmm. And some unknown traits as well. We will have to keep an eye on that one. Anyway, we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of prison architect. And overall pretty happy. Got snipers, so more prevention. Because obviously we've got non-lethal snipers. Building up in here, more prisoners, more automation. Hopefully more reform as well. But, we'll see how we get on. Still need to find nine narcotics to get that grant done. And then we should be able to do tool cleanup because that uh, says at least 40 prisoners. Hmm, we're on 30 at the moment max and we've got all this to build. So yeah, overall pretty happy. Either way, hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far. Eventually, we will put some flooring in. Uh, <laughs> I know that's not been a high priority. It's simply because of the type of prisons that we have and the need for other things rather than what is basically aesthetics. Sadly, though, it does mean that it it's not the best looking prison on the planet. But not too sure what we can really do about that without spending a ridiculous amount of money putting loads of flooring in where it's not strictly needed. Either way, next episode we'll crack on, probably do a bit of yard in here and, uh, well, more more cells around this area as well. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.